This morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. Osiris tells me it's a Vex simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. It seems they have found a way to harness our energy against us. And even in all his wisdom, Osiris can offer no solution. I don't know what will happen if we can't break the Vex's hold over the city. I do know that we must protect our people, no matter the cost. The Vex are machines, and no one understands machines better than the Elixir. Osiris and I could only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax, Kel of House Light. My spies report he claims to be among the last sacred splicers, those with the power to commune with machines. He may be our best and only hope. Find him, Guardian, before the Vex do. It's been a long time, Guardian. My hidden report that Mithrax was last seen on Europa, helping Varix evacuate Elixni defectors. Both the Vex and Aramis's loyalists are down there hunting for survivors, shooting anything that moves. Be sure to shoot back. We need Mithrax alive if he's to help us with our Vex problem. Closing in on some residual signals. It could be Elixni bound for House Light. Or it could be more of Aramis's loyalists. Clear the Vex and introduce yourself to the survivors. Make it known you're not a threat. Unless you need to be. Someone brought down the skiff. Quick now, secure the crash site and assist the survivors, if there are any. close, and I'm picking up unusual energy spikes ahead. Be ready for anything. Them. 
I don't. What the light provides. Searching for you for some time. This is known. You are not the only one with hidden eyes. Many enemies pursue my house of light. We do not wish to be found. Then times are desperate for us both. The Vanguard seeks your assistance. I am aware. Vex systems pulse with talk of the city's endless night. But my people demand much protection. If this Guardian could assist me in blinding the Vex here, we can speak without risking more bloodshed. Blinding the Vex. My Guardian will do whatever you need. I have opened the door for you, Guardian. Will you walk the path of the sacred Spicer? Did you send them into a Vex simulation? The path before them is no illusion. The Guardian ventures through the Vex domain itself, where the machines guard their most precious secrets. I will clear the way.
signals are dissipating from your region. They're leaving. Yes. With the core you hold, the secrets of the Vex reveal themselves to us. To study such an artifact would benefit us both. But there is no time. My people must move on if we hope to survive. Mithrax, I saw those who wished to join you dead in the snow. Let them be the last to fall. Come, shelter in our city. You and your people. I call a kill. Can you offer the Elixni such a thing? I just did. You'll be under the Vanguard's protection. The Vex are the enemy here. And any Lightbearer who disagrees can take it up with me. Then we accept. With light in our hearts. We will join you in your city. Beneath the Traveler. My people shelter beneath the great machine. This is beyond simple generosity. I must thank Ikora for her gift. This sanctuary is not granted by Ikora alone, but by all who live in the last city. Yes, and on their behalf, let me extend welcome. I am Osiris, and this is Lakshmi too future war corps leader and city representative. My greatest appreciations to you both. The House of Light thanks you. Your house can best show gratitude by keeping to itself. I know your assistance with the Vex will benefit us all, but not everyone in the city is so open-minded. You appear to be settling in. I will leave you to it. If you require further help from us, you must only ask. Uh, I shall. Uh, there are several modifications we will need for stable ether production. Submit a proposal to Ikora. She seems willing to get you anything you need. I must return to the people in the city. Future War Court has foreseen great misery for them in the days ahead, and they will need an advocate. I often forget how highly those in the tower have placed themselves. The air is thin there. Best not to breathe too much of it. You must understand this situation is tense for us all. This encampment perches on the edge of the creed, Malkus. I hope your stay with us will be Uneventful. As do I. Elixni houses are more than tribes for sharing work and resources. They also represent living philosophies. In many ways, the House of Light is traditional. We worship the great machine, and we embrace ancestral roles like splicers and scribes. But in other ways, we're different. My father, Mizrax, is Kel of our house, but he does not act as past Kels. He does not take more than his share of ether, and he does not punish by docking limbs. These are radical, but popular ideas in our house. However, Mizrax Kel also believes in peace and cooperation with humanity. This is less popular. Everyone in our house has seen Elixni killed by guardians. Not just warriors, but innocents and hatchlings. I lived for many years among the Awoken, and understand that humans do good things as well. Sometimes. But the others in the House of Light have not been so lucky in their allies as I have. It will take time to earn their trust. Humans think of Aether as food for Elixni, a form of sustenance. That's only partially true. Aether also catalyzes physical maturation and promotes molting, 
In that sense, it's like hormones in human adolescence. In a world of unlimited ether, like Rees before the whirlwind, all Elixni look like captains. That's our final form. Most Elixni you see now are underdeveloped. They're forever stunted by ether rationing, which began as a necessity and gradually evolved into a mechanism of social control. Now, ruthless leaders like Spider use the distribution of ether to keep their followers dependent. If Elixni are ever to live in peace, we must make ether available to all, regardless of rank. During our golden age, the Elixni civilization spanned many star systems, farther than humanity could imagine. And in all of our exploration, we never found anything more wondrous than the Great Machine. It's one of the few things that all Elixni houses can agree on. That's why shrines like these are made of many small pieces. Each bit was added by a different house. It's a tradition that lasted generations. Most of those houses are now extinct, and their members are scattered. It's funny. I revered the Great Machine all my life, without ever having seen it. And now that it's right overhead, I still look to this shrine for comfort. Hello. My name is Ido. My father is Mizrax, Kel of our house. I took my name from his first awoken friend, Sierra Ido. As scribe for the House of Light, it's my job to preserve our house's history, so that hatchlings may one day learn our stories. Mizrax Kel requested that I leave some records for the humans of the last city, so they might learn about Elixni culture in their own time. As he says, Inside a catch, everyone breathes the same air. Though I have doubts that the humans will care to hear our stories, the snipers who look down on us do not seem like the curious types. But the great machine has chosen them, so I must give them the benefit of my faith. Hopefully this effort does not go wasted. Some Elixni tell hatchlings that these wards keep guardians from attacking us in our sleep. We know this is not true, of course, but it helps hatchlings to rest peacefully. Soon enough, they must learn that the guardians cannot be stopped by such things. That they cannot be stopped at all, even by death. After that, the ward changes meanings. For grown Elixni, it's a reminder that the Great Machine blesses life givers and killers alike. But now that we have seen the Guardians among their own people, taking orders and making awkward small talk, I don't think this tradition will continue in the House of Light. We no longer see Guardians as monsters, just people. Frightened and misguided. This Shank has been with us for many years. She is temperamental, but loyal. She's in need of constant repair, but we're used to it. Our house has fixed every part of her, from sensors to exhaust. So when I look at her, I don't see an object. I see the members of my house. I see myself. To us, machines are vessels, not just tools. This is why scrap working is so important to Elixni culture. It's a way of sharing our spirit with the world, even when we have nothing. I'm sure that Guardians feel the same way about their tower. It's more than a hollow form more than the rubble it was built from. The tower is the keeper of the vanguard spirit, and you would defend it more fiercely than any other building. 
Is it not so? I discovered this shell among spider supplies. Many elixir fear guardians, but delight at your ghosts. We think of them as extensions of the great machine's will, deserving of reverence. When we arrived here, we were surprised to discover that many guardians treat their ghosts like equals, or worse, like servants. Guardians throw their lives away for sport, in games like Crucible or Gambit, taking the miracle of resurrection for granted. As if ghosts needed the humans and not the other way around. Elixni have had their blessings from the Great Machine, it's true, but we've never known the power that ghosts grant humanity. I think that if Lixney became guardians, we would use the light to serve the great machine, not our own amusement. Here lies the remnants of Kel's Scourge, a dark period in Elixney history. After the whirlwind, many Elixney were overcome by feelings of hopelessness. They were homeless, hungry, and hunted by guardians and hive alike. So when Civix founded Kel's Scourge, promising to return Elixney to power with ancient weaponry, many were drawn to his call. Though the Scourge claimed to fight for Elixney empowerment, in reality, they represented the final degradation of our culture. A once great interstellar civilization was reduced to an anarchist mob, led by a power-hungry coward. Let ours be a cautionary tale. No matter how enlightened a culture, there are always those who prey on our worst impulses for their own gain. Many Elixni spend their whole lives on ships. They become more than a home. They're like a member of the family. Mizrax found me in the vent of a wrecked ship, you know. We joke that my father is a splicer, and my mother is a catch. <laughs> After the fall of our homeworld, Reese, Elixni scattered across the stars. Having lost our grounding, catches evolved from modes of transportation into permanent homes. Even after Elixni began to resettle in places like the Reef, we never lost our reverence for the machines that kept us alive. Now, after so much wandering, it's hard to believe that there's real ground beneath us and a real sky above. against the machines, 
And I will be your guide. I am a sacred splicer. One who can touch the light rippling through the Vex networks. For the light is all. The wind through the grass, and the motion of galaxies. In this way, I can see into the Vex domain. But you... Your abilities might grow beyond mine. I have prepared something for you. A splicer gauntlet. The first made for a non-Elixni. The ether it pulls from defeated foes will let you override the Vex signals. Push back and enter the machine domain as you did on Europa. Bring me data from within, and together we will discover its secrets. Fight bravely. Free your people from this endless night. Can't say I'm enjoying lying low, Commander. Reminds me of the old days. But, hey. Nothing if not good at following orders. If it was my choice, I'd be there helping you get the Elixni settled in the city. Might be hard to believe, but they're more like us than you think. Just give them a chance, like you did for me. The Lask. That's how they say hello. Just so you know. It's been some time since you and I have worked together. That's going to change. As internal affairs falls under my purview, you'll be reporting to me for this operation. Mithrax has kept his promise. His splicers work tirelessly to decode the data you pulled from the Vex network. Zavala and I have every confidence that this was the right decision. Years of hidden operations coming to fruition in our time of need. The Elixni would say, the great machine provides. But if Osiris hadn't suggested we contact Mithrax directly, all our outreach could have been wasted. Guardian, we are all made to believe that loss is how we grow. It took me decades to see that it is not the pain we learn from, but the risk, the chances we take, and the strength to see them through. Here in the city, every new life can begin in peace. Without fear, without loss, we need only set aside the past. While you're in the field, I've asked Saint-14 to oversee the Elixni settlement. If we can turn the Kellbreaker into an advocate for House Light, then others will follow. I hope he's feeling generous. Where the darkness seeks to divide us, we need only offer out a hand. When I requisitioned this transmitter, I was told the helm would be a secure location. I suppose this will have to do. Greetings, Guardian. I'm Lakshmi II of the future War Cult, and I'm here to offer my assistance, because you need it quite badly. The future War Cult has long used Vex-derived technology to see into the future. I won't bore you with an explanation of mind forking. Suffice to say, we understand its dangers and use the device responsibly. I have glimpsed our future, Guardian, and what I saw was chilling. Skies dark with smoke, shouting, gunfire, and in the center of it all, standing in our city, a group of fallen, the same fallen I saw earlier. 
Ikora listened to my report, but she chose not to hear it. The Vanguard would rather protect its image than its people. And so, I will handle things myself. We can change this future. Stop it from happening. While I monitor your progress against the Vex and assist where I am able, I will observe these fallen. If they begin to act against us, well, when I foresaw the Red War, they laughed until Gaul bound the Traveler. This time, I will not whisper my warnings. I will not be polite. I look forward to working with you, Guardian. Together, we can protect our city from all who would wish it harm. Why 
Passing Vex code is like discovering new language. Ah, talking to Vex is boring. It's better to destroy them. We have already surrendered too much. Now they want more. Meat, cloth, medicine. People in the city need these things. We ask for no more than you can give. This endless night, it drains us. Our resources are spread too thin. What you give to them, you'll take from the mouths of our citizens. All right. That's enough. Koro was firm. I am to provide for the Elixni as if they were our own people. Our own people. Lakshmi was right. You are too political an animal, Osiris. The House of Light. We wish to destroy the Vex. To aid the Guardian. Same as you. Yes. Do not start with this. Tell me, Mithras. Were I in one of your cities, would you bow to all of my demands? We would give you anything you asked for. Because you are so generous? Because we would wish to live. I see. <laughs> you are fighting for your people. I would fight for mine, yes? It is true. Split the supplies as Ikora says. Anything to make this false night pass more quickly. Interesting. Commanders of Vala and I have been touched by the generosity and kindness you've shown toward our new Elixni neighbors. We also understand the reluctance some have shown toward their resettlement. To those who mistrust our arrangement, let me remind you that this very city was founded by refugees. We sought shelter not only from alien aggressors, but from other humans. The bandits and warlords that profited from our suffering. So it is with the Elixir. For the first time in our shared history, we need the Elixir, and they need us. Together with Mithrax and his sacred splicers, we can end the endless night. But only if we stand united for the betterment of all. I greet you in the light, Guardian. I was given a message about Lakshmi too. She of the future of war cult. Osiris wishes that she gains full access to the Vex data you gather. I agreed. I hope my cooperation will show her we are not like the old houses. I have heard the transmission she records for the city's people. And I know she is skeptical of the Elixni. I hope to make trust with her. There are rumors she uses Vex technology to look upon tomorrow. This is dangerous, forbidden by my people. But if it will 
show her we walk together in peace. I will give her all that she asks. After studying the data you brought, I have found a new path for you to walk. The Vex gather their forces, but we can break through their security. Enter their realm, then use your light. Consecrate their network. Purify it. The Vex will try to stop you, but you are not one who can be stopped. People of the last city, we are governed by a consensus. A democracy where the people have a say over what happens in their city. Or so we thought. But did you agree to shelter a mob of dangerous fallen? The same fallen that spent a century stealing from us, besieging our city, and destroying our families. Did you agree to suddenly forgive and forget? No. I quite array decided. Without the people's consent to allow house light inside our walls. These are not the actions of a democratic leader. She claims that this Mithrax can end the Vex curse. Then why has he not done so? Perhaps because he has no such power. Or perhaps because he's simply biding his time. I have gazed into the future using Vex technology and have seen only a strife and conflict with the Fallen. Unless we change course immediately, bloodshed is inevitable.
this labyrinth to the oppressive mind within.
legends, Guardian. The oppressive mind that commanded this domain is no more. And now this region of the Vex network must collapse. The fabric of reality is beginning to return to its prior state. At last, real progress. This is how we save our people. By tearing apart the veil of night that the Vex have laid over the city. Well done, Mithrax. Thank you. An ellipse need splicer would not have been able to endure this confrontation. And a light bearer without a splicer gauntlet would never have been able to enter this domain at all. The Guardian is a union being. A conduit between two houses. They are proof of what can be accomplished when separate components become a single machine. As Zavala Kel says, stronger together. Your powers grow to fight the Vex, but still their offense increases. We sacred splicers study the Vex. We learn to move through them like tall grass. But these, they are strange to me. Their focus is unpredictable. This frustrates me. I can see the data streams as you walk through their space. But I cannot see from where they flow. It is as though a fog pushes in from cold water. It could be the soft voice of my doubt here in this false night. But it could be something greater. Something no splicer has encountered before. You must continue to enter their network. Destroy what you find inside. Each victory cuts one of the threads that hold this endless night in place. The Vex will send powerful foes against you. But be not swayed. Keep to the path. The path leads you to me once more, Guardian. This endless night presses down on us all. I hear the city groan with the strain. The dark brings sickness now. Few can find sleep. The people hear of your triumphs against the Vex, but they see only dark skies above. They are being bent, and some may break. I will aid if I can. I will not be proud. But let the citizens see that we are suffering with them. I have faith they will see us for who we are. The light always shines through in the end. But for now, the work must begin again. People of the last city, the vanguard protects us from enemies outside our walls. But did you know they also protect us from information? Did you know that the Fallen unleashed the Vex on Europa? That they corrupt our guardians with the poison gift of stasis, tempting them to build the darkness? These same Fallen are now inside our city, at the invitation of the vanguard. Icorarain knows all this, and more. Her hidden spies report as much. Yet she continues to support these false alliances over her own people. Whether her lies are born of malice or incompetence matters not. What matters? is that I have gazed into the future and foreseen bodies in our streets. Make no mistake, an invasion is coming. And if we are to triumph, we must first take back our city. Do you feel that? The more you explore the Vex domain, the more I feel an all-seeing eye upon us. Ever watchful, 
ever seeking. We trespass in dimensions not meant for either of us. The Vex have enacted a purge sweep of the domain. We should stay ahead of it. Stabilized. You will 
upon us. The tapestry of their design continues to fray. But this is far from over. Lakshmi is certain that our continued efforts, combined with future war cults technology, can locate the source of the Endless Night. I am aware of the device Lakshmi uses. Does it not worry you? In what way? It is taxing on its user. To have one's consciousness fractured into countless splinters and rejoined again can be harrowing. Lashmi is up to the task. This sort of technology is taboo among the Elixni. But perhaps House Light can still offer some assistance. My engineers could improve on the design, make it easier for Lakshmi. No, no. The, the Black Armory has already provided necessary enhancements for us. Lakshmi will manage, I'm confident. Besides, the less interaction Lakshmi has with your people at the moment, the better. Yes, perhaps. Or perhaps you are right. There's been a disturbance. Sabotage in the Elixni camp. This wasn't just an attack on their ether stores. Someone wanted to send a message. Our citizens forget who they were before they found the safety of the city's walls. It's easy to mistake change as the front line of a battlefield. But this is a time for level heads and compassion. Saint-14 is already en route to investigate. I trust him, but he is torn between duty and doubt. And Lakshmi? The Vanguard has tolerated her broadcasts as Zavala doesn't believe it's our place to interfere in civilian politics. I see now that was a mistake. We can't allow anyone to jeopardize our alliance with the House of Light, no matter their motives. Our citizens must see that the Elixni are people, just like them. Get down there. Be the calm the city needs. Hear out grievances and keep tensions low while I root out the perpetrators. It's time that Lakshmi and I had a little talk. Carry the light with you. You see what was done. Our ether tanks smashed. Our supplies stolen. Our home defaced. I cannot find any witnesses. This is not surprising. The locals have been under enormous pressure. You're lucky it was not worse. This destruction helps no one but the Vex. Please, instead of teaching your people to fear us, tell them the truth. The truth is that your kind has preyed upon us for as long as we can remember. There's nothing I can say that will make them forget. House Light has never raised arms against humanity. Your houses and titles are layers of politics. You're still fallen. You promised us your protection. And you've had it. We allowed your brood to squat and chitter here in our city. But still, the Vex simulation persists. If you're displeased with how you have been treated for your failure, then I suggest you camp elsewhere. Your people destroyed what little we possessed. Now we have nothing, nowhere to go. Humanity faced a challenge like that once. We banded together and built a city with walls to keep our enemies outside, where they belong. We hear her broadcasts, but more than that, we feel the energy of her words in the air. Sharp as blades pointed at an enemy. At us. You cannot ask people to live alongside their monsters. Listen to me now, Saint. Let me tell you something about monsters. Once 
in a city grander even than yours, we prospered. But it did not last. Our great machine abandoned us. And when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing. And then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe from its insatiable rage. In its eyes, even the most innocent of Elexni were still fallen. It could die, but it would not stay dead. It would shake off the rot and rise again. And if it caught you in its crushing embrace, impaled you on its ragged crest, dragged you screaming into its foul shell, none live to speak of these horrors. It called itself the Saint. My people must now see the creature every day. It sees us. If we wish to survive, we must all learn to live alongside our monsters. This sharing of hatred, as my father would say, is disappointing but not unexpected. Some Elixni believe that guardians prey on us without reason. But as a scribe, I know better. The accusations Lakshmi makes against us are mostly true. Elixni have raided the last city for centuries. They were driven not only by desperation, but by unspoken resentment at the great machine's abandonment. Every Kel since the whirlwind has tried to unify Elixni in opposition to humanity. This war-like mentality has been a weakness. The House of Light tries to unify Elixni with humanity, not against them. And this is how we are received. I'm surprised humans would destroy a representation of the Great Machine. My research with the Awoken suggested that humans revered it as we do. However, my personal observations have not supported that conclusion. I understand the city used to have an official speaker, a sort of cleric who spoke to the Great Machine's will. However, human records state that role was abandoned after Dominus Gaul sacked the city. To leave the Great Machine without a representative among the people seems heretical. Many Elixni believe that humanity takes the Great Machine's blessings for granted, just as we once did. Perhaps they're right. Guardian, I regret you had to witness my outburst earlier with the fallen leader. I am not a diplomat, and sometimes I can be terse. I know terrible things have been done in the name of the city. In the name of the future war court. In my name. You understand, though. The city is a living thing. And it is rejecting the fallen. Like a fever burning out an infection. I will speak to the fallen leader. Tell it that the future war court will personally replenish their supplies when they are ready to move on. I do not wish them to think badly of us. I know they are your associates. What a city we would have if everyone's heart was as big as yours. Have you heard the song of the people echoing 
through the city. Rise up as one, march toward the sun. Hmm. The words of people reaching for dawn in this endless night. People who have still not given up hope. Neither have I. And if you were wondering, this was not the conflict I have foreseen. No. That will come later. Unless I can stop it. Trespass into this domain is easier for you than the last. I feel you moving through the Vex network as they do, as they are. You are no longer an invader. You are a part of the system. I hope that as you change this place, it is not also changing you. Another purge sweeps through the network. Be cautious. of this dimension churn, digesting all within. This entire place seeks your end. You will need to find a defense against the forces of eradication and entropy at work here.
We succeed for a third time, and yet nothing has changed with the Endless Night. Why is that, Mithrax? Each time the Guardian destroys a Vex mind in control of a domain, the remaining Vex carry the leftover burden. And how many of these minds do you think are left to share that burden? That is unclear. Then we should focus our efforts on finding the central Vex mind guiding them. Osiris, how is that coming along? Slowly. Lakshmi and Mithrax's splicers are diligently working with data the Guardian has recovered. But the Vex mind at the source of the Endless Night remains elusive. We need to move quickly. The simulation is draining the city's energy. I won't stand by and watch our lightless civilians continue to suffer. Ikora, I don't intend to let that happen. We will work harder. We will find a way. The light provides. I have thought much on Mithrax's story. We do monstrous things to fight monsters. It seems simple. When the city first formed, titans were the walls. We did not think of our enemies when we fought. We thought only of protecting our people. Survival until the next day, no matter how. To be seen as, as a terror, a destroyer. To know children tremble in fear at my name and mourn what I have taken from them. This is not the Saint-14 I know. I can never forgive what the old houses did to us, but these are not the old houses. They are dead. What do we gain from more death? This lashing out against defenseless people, it is the act of a coward. Mithrax risked much to trust us. If his House of Light can forgive, perhaps we must try to see the Fallen, Elixni, as they see themselves. Or none of us will ever be anything but monsters. We must be more than the enemies of our enemies.
blessed to have such friends in dark times. Humanity will not allow these hateful and ignorant acts to define us. We will prove it by bringing those responsible to justice. Walk the path of hardship with joy in your hearts. Be brave. Guardian, light guides your path. Though I believe darkness lies ahead for you, I expected your assaults to weaken the Vex. But I reach into the network now, and it pulls. Hungry. Greedy. Like slogging through mud. I felt this when you first walked through the network. You pushed into their system, and something malevolent pushed back. The sacred splicer must know the Vex. Must understand what can and cannot be bent, yes. They are like the seasons, or the great seas. They surge and flow like a primal force. They cannot be manipulated, and yet something is doing just that. I do not know what it is, or why it has targeted your city. But I see the great machine hanging above, and I worry. This endless night has greater purpose. Be cautious now, Guardian. Darkness is coming for you. Shine your light on the truth. Proceed through the temporal breachway and infiltrate the Vex's sub-network. Focus on the task at hand. Do not be distracted by your senses. analysis field. Interesting. Stay ahead of it.
the Vex are able to divide themselves between the material world and this place to engineer their plans. This is not unlike the Ascendant plane, which raises many questions. fall into our trap. Destroy them all. Bring this domain crumbling down.
threads of night unraveling as if a veil has been lifted. The network is laid bare, its threads converging on... What is this? Mithrax, what's wrong? What do you see? An infestation. I have found the Vex at the source of the Endless Night. Quiria, the Dreaming Mind. Its code has been corrupted by taken magic. Sabathun. We've been played. Quiria has been commanding the other Vex. Poisoning their minds. Directing them at Sabathun's will. The Endless Night is of Sabathun's design. It would seem the Witch Queen has outmaneuvered us. But perhaps she did not count on us seeing her hand so soon. Then we strike now. Miss Rax and I will lead forth. We bring the fight to Korya and crush it. We cannot rush into this. We must find a safe route through the Vex domain where Korya is hiding. Any time we give, it's time for Savasun to scheme. No scheming, we shoot. I know, Saint, but we have to be careful. Mithrax, will you report your findings to the Guardian back at the helm? If that is your wish. We will fight, and soon. But it will be on our terms, not hers. I wish my news was not so grave. But I can confirm that it is the Taken Vex Mind Quiria at the center of the simulation that plagues this city. Quiria serves the Witch Queen Savathun. It is she who is responsible for the Endless Night. Are you certain of your data? After all, Savathun is known for her deceptions. Osiris, I did not know you had access to this channel. I wish to confer with you and the Guardian privately. The Splicers fear Quiria's spirit. Hollow, calculating, taken. It lurks between realities as a blade between carapace plates. There is no mistake. How did you miss this? In the same way it went unseen by the mighty Osiris. Hmm. If my experience and wisdom can aid you in Quoria's capture, you may have it. Capture. Quiria is discordant and must be exercised if the great machine sky is to shine again. The things we could learn were we to capture it. Think, Mithrax. Dangerous. Ambitious. Assume capture is successful. Captivity would prove difficult. Safer to eradicate. I will confer with Ikora to find us the best course of action. Of course. Mizrax observes the city's guidance. You and the Guardian speak with Ikora. Elixni will continue to refine a strategy. Guardian, be vigilant. We must consider our discovery of Savathun to be part of her plan. Perhaps she means to sow fear and suspicion among us. I won't allow her to drive us apart. When the time comes, I'll put a spear of light through the Witch Queen's heart myself. For now, I'm overturning all hidden records and full archival access to Osiris, but no one else. Lakshmi claims the Vanguard suffers from a lack of transparency. If she had access to our records, she'd cherry-pick whatever details were necessary to ground her prophecies. I need people I can trust to be objective. Some of our records on Savathun are fabricated truths, I'm sure. But in those lies are the strategies she used to topple the Dreaming City. History won't be repeating itself here. Continue your splicer training with Mithrax. Use it to root Savathun's minions out. We'll reassess the situation when we've located our target. Good luck. Quiria lurks at the 
center of this false night. All threads leading to it are dark and thick, covered in black oil. Your splicer mastery has been growing. The great machine is unknowable, but I believe it acts with purpose. Just as we must act with purpose now, to find a way to reach Quiria and end it. Sacred Splicers must see the invisible machinery at work around us to understand its beauty and flaws and our place within it. I think of my light as a torch, a beacon. Yours, though, I see as a weapon. I say this with respect. From what I know of the great machine, it would not create a weapon without needing to use it. Quiria will be your target. Be ready, for there is no doubt it is. Guardian, I greet you in the light. Even if darkness hangs overhead, we were correct that an unseen hand was guiding the Vex. Quiria, the dreaming mind, brought this endless night with it. It has been draining the energy from this city. We do not yet know why. Ikora and Osiris have thoughts, but the details do not change the truth. Quiria must be stopped. But first, we must find it. I have reached into its domain, but the Vex forces break my sight. I believe I am close, but I must focus. You, Guardian, strike the Vex now, with great force, so that I may see Quiria through your ripples. It may seek the destruction of your city, or of your vanguard, or something even greater may be at stake. This infinite realm beyond material space is but one of many. The universe holds so many dark and fascinating secrets. If only our eyes were open enough to see them. Because the Vex would prefer you not to learn anything further at all. You'd better get moving. The oppressive mind has ensconced itself behind a series of data barriers. Remove the barriers and destroy it.
absent mind. Show it the fate of its predecessors. you against underestimating Quarrier. Agreed. We must strike carefully, mitigate Quarrier's ability to rally defenses, then punch through the network like a white-hot sword of praxic fire. We can do this. Together. Together. Osiris, there is something I must discuss with you. Lakshmi, she came to me with a proposal. Are you taking over as Titan Vanguard? She discussed it with me as well. Lakshmi has radical ideas, but they are only words. No cause for alarm. Good, good. Only words, of course. She wants what is best for the people of the city. And in truth, you would make an excellent leader. I do not seek authority. Zavala may have a beautiful desk, but he is chained to it. We could use less bureaucracy, maybe. A more proactive strategies, where we reclaim ground taken from humanity. An open council in the city to speak with the citizens. Ah, I have imagined a new vanguard, led by us. Led by you? I will stay back and advise. I lack the temperament for leadership. Ah, a fantasy only. I told Lakshmi I would think about it till she would go away. The words uh, tasted like treason in my mouth. Let her believe you are considering it. If you refuse, I imagine she might approach Lord Saladin. And after what happened with Kaito... I understand. Later we will speak more of this. Piers Lakshmi is speaking a bit too freely. The reports her behavior to Ikora, though I imagine she already knows. You should continue working with Lakshmi. Don't mention what you've heard. We must keep this as quiet as we can. With the endless night and the elixir here, the city has become a powder keg. One errant spark could be the end of the vanguard. It's even possible that the Witch Queen walks among them. 
Unfortunately, the current vanguard will stop at nothing to protect their place and their ivory tower. They don't understand the people of the last city, and their actions prove it. A future war called a new monarchy say, enough. We intend to return this city to its people. If the vanguard won't protect you, then we will. vile presence pulsing in the heart of their network. I feel a strong hand pull against the threats tied to everyone living in this city. This has gone on too long, Guardian. None can spend so long in the night. Death surrounds this place. The true death which always starts from within. I have heard your people say it is darkest before the dawn. There is comfort in that, yes. But I fear this endless night will grow even more terrible before we see the sun again. stole into this realm. I did not believe you could achieve what you have. Invading a domain of vexed consciousness like this. Yet, here you are. Embodiment of the impossible. Somehow, in spite of everything you've accomplished, I managed to underestimate you. I won't make that mistake again. It seems the Vex are content to keep throwing the same defenses at you. Get into the domain, Guardian. This is a Vex disintegration domain. Eradicating unneeded simulation data and abandoned terraforming projects. Beware those barriers. They will destroy all matter they touch.
Guardian. The Vex are on alert, but their defenses have not fully come online. Once more, the Vex fall into our snare. The Domain's master is yours. Destroy it. the mains you have previously collapsed. The challenges you face here are the very ones you faced as you honed your splicer powers. You are ready for this. Our hopes rest on you.
presence. I can feel the sickening rot of the Taken's power shuddering through this domain. The Vex, too, struggle against the yoke of oppression laid on them by Korea. Our enemy hides behind others and uses them as pawns. Just their cowardice, no, no.
Let's not uncork every bottle of champagne in the city just yet. Osiris is right. This is a monumental victory for humanity and Elixni. But it's a battle, not the war. Even so, victories should be cherished. Yes, Mithrax is correct. We will have a party, a celebration. A small one to respect. Very classy. I will wear a suit. Finding Quiria at the center of the Endless Night confirms our worst suspicions. It was the arm Sabathun used to strangle our city. With it docked, to borrow an Elixni term. We purge Sabathun from the Vex domain. I only hope we stopped her in time. The Dreaming Mind's defeat, as with so many things Vex, is a process. It will take time for Mithrax and his splicers to finish untangling our reality from the Vex network. In the meantime, Osiris is focused on collecting all the data we have on Sabathun, separating small truths from the many layer of lies. Everything she does is for a reason, even if it seems beyond our comprehension. I want to know what she hoped to gain. I thought I might ask Lakshmi for her assistance, but that device she uses... By Osiris's description, it's used to align one's consciousness with other temporal realities, and has driven many war cultists insane. The visions it shows her, they cloud her judgment. Even now, she believes the Elixni will be the cause of some great catastrophe. Osiris seems to think he can get through to her. He understands the technology. He understands her perspective, but I can only give him so much time. Guardian, I wanted to be among the first to send my regards. Your victory today has lifted a great weight from my chest. I feel like I can breathe again. I hope you're not too proud to accept my praise. Even though we may not see eye to eye. Pride is a dangerous affliction. It is clear Ikora suffers from it. And yes, I know. I do as well. Do you see? I can admit when I am wrong. Which is more than I can say for some of our current leaders. The city deserves someone who acts. Someone who does what is right. Even if it is unpopular. After all, you destroyed Quaria against the wishes of countless Vex. You did what had to be done to protect your city. You acted bravely. I admire you for that. You and I. We will speak more when this ugliness is behind us. After the fallen have returned to space, and this endless night is a memory. Our city could use more heroes. We will have 
A beautiful sunrise. Alixni houses are more than tribes for sharing work and resources. They also represent living philosophies. In many ways, the House of Light is traditional. We worship the Great Machine, and we embrace ancestral roles like splicers and scribes. But in other ways, we're different. My father, Mizrax, is Kel of our house, but he does not act as past Kells. He does not take more than his share of ether, and he does not punish by docking limbs. These are radical, but popular ideas in our house. However, Mizrax Kel also believes in peace and cooperation with humanity. This is less popular. Everyone in our house has seen Elixni killed by guardians. Not just warriors, but innocents and hatchlings. I lived for many years among the Awoken, and understand that humans do good things as well. Sometimes. But the others in the House of Light have not been so lucky in their allies as I have. It will take time to earn their trust. Hello again. I've been hearing about all you've done for this city. People are talking. We've all lost so much since the Red War. But we can't let that stop us from celebrating what we have and the guardians who keep us safe. I talked to Ikora, and this year we have something special. A way to honor all the inspiring stories you've given the world. Go now. Relive your glory. And friend, have a happy solstice. Alexei of House Light. After the fall of Reese, we have had many homes. And in every new home, culture evolves. We hang new banners. We follow. Traditions. And here, under the great machine, is a new custom called Solstice of Heroes. The Solstice is a reminder that our victories belong not only to us, but to those who gave their lives along the way. Asher, Sloan, Cade, Sagira, even Brother Benz. And for the first time, We'll share Solstice traditions with our Elixni allies, who risked their lives to free us from the Endless Night. Mizrax likes this tradition. Elixni, too, have many heroes. Without them, House of Light would die on Europa, far from the Great Machine. Now is the time for all to join in the Solstice. So past heroes can bring peace to the living. May our heroes unite us and lead us toward a brighter future. Together. So, how did it feel to celebrate your triumphs? Okay, back to work. So... How did it feel to celebrate your triumphs? I hope you took time to bask in every one of those moments. Each victory represents a time when your heroism kept us safe. Without you, there wouldn't be a last city to come back to. For that, we are eternally grateful. So please, friend, continue to embrace glory as much as you'd like. It's our gift to you. People of the last city, we have endured many great tragedies 
thanks to our strength and a steadfast commitment to humanity, the traveler chose us. It abandoned the fallen because they are unfit, unworthy of the light. They would take it from us if they could. The Mangar have lost their way. They embrace the darkness. Welcome Aramis's followers into our midst with open arms. Force us to celebrate our lost heroes alongside those who murdered them. Yes, the endless night is over. But now Mithrax and his house will use this opportunity to do what the fallen have always done. Covet, cheat, steal. Kill! I have seen the future with my own eyes. And it has not changed. Doom is still builds on our horizon like a terrible storm. But there is hope. Right now, loyalists to the future war calls a new monarchy have rounded up the fallen in our city. With the aid of Osiris, I have learned how to safely command the power of the Vex. I will use it to do what the Vanguard will not. I will tear open a rift, banish the fallen to the depths of space from where they came. We alone will save humanity. I have seen the darkest of futures, and with this act, I will. No. Lakshmi 2 has opened a Vex portal in the Elixir Quarter. All fire team, find and close that incursion point. Mithrax, what's your status? We are overrun. Please, we cannot hold them off for much longer. Do not worry, Mithrax. I am on my way. Go. You must protect your people. You are my people. Inside the walls of the last city. How could this happen? How could Lakshmi do this? We need this incursion ended now before any more lives are lost.
me. The Guardian has broken their portal! Keep behind us! We will not let them harm you! Stand, friend! You will not fall for them! another day from those who would take it, but not without loss, and not alone. Elixir, Mithrax, they stood with us, brothers and sisters in battle. This is a bond that cannot break. Their loss will be buried beside our own. Ikora was wise to look to our future instead of the we must remember that it is the Elixni who came to us, laid down arms for a chance at peace. These are not the fiends Lakshmi made them out to be. That bravery demands respect and deserves recognition. The House of Light is part of the city now, under the protection of Saint Fourteen. In time, the memories of our past demons will fade, and our peoples will share laughter and stories. Our victory today will be one of them. More famous than Twilight Gap, I will make sure of it. Look at the city. The skies are slowly clearing, but the streets are filled with dead Vex, dead Elixni, and our people. Future war cult has scattered to the wind, but we recovered Lakshmi's body from the site of the attack. In the end, she was right about the tragedy looming on our horizon. If only she could have foreseen that it was of her own making. Now Dead Orbit has finally made good on its promise to leave the city, and take a new monarchy with it. The factions are no more. Honestly, I will miss their presence here. After all, Lakshmi did not speak for the future war cult. Some of her own people warned me she was becoming unstable, and I feel I let her slip away. I haven't told Saint yet, but I've been unable to locate Osiris. Even though Lakshmi implicated him in the attack, I don't believe he did. Osiris is a good man. Saint and I will both vouch for him. All he has to do is return to the city to clear his name. I saw the blight that was forming in our own citizens, but I never thought it would lead us here. Eris once said, we will only know our enemy's next move if we are wise enough to recognize it. My eyes are wide open now. Stay ready. People of the last city, 
I have some troubling news to share. As some of you know, a portal was opened in the Elixni quarter of the city, allowing Vex to breach our walls for the first time. Thankfully, Guardians, working together with Elixni Splicers, were able to repel the assault. We've since discovered that Lakshmi II, former leader of the future war cult, was responsible for the security breach. Regrettably, Lakshmi was killed by Vex during the assault. It seems that the other faction leaders were culpable, if not responsible. Executor Hideo and Arak Jalal have fled, taking the remainder of their factions with them. In their absence, we are now one people. Stronger, thanks to our alliance with the House Light. House of Light is forever in your debt. You stood by us when we had no one. Now, we stand by the people of the last city. In the grace of the Traveler, come what may, the light provides. The light provides. This day is marked by glory. And sadness. Today our kin, Elixni and human, went together into the House of Silence. There, they are united in the light. Our house believes that light flows through all. Through the great machine. And through you, Guardian. Though we will see the silent never again, we will carry them with us always. The light provides.